Motivated, I'm the truth going hard in the booth All my dreams is coming true If I can make it, you can too Wasn't in a skipping school Had to play by the rules If you got dreams, don't be a fool The process make it even cool Gotta really pay attention And right there is tunnel vision Can't be falling, can't be slipping This world full of competition If you really I mean, this is ISO versus the world Expansion team Week 11 you know what I mean? Everything start with the Earning Night Soul podcast. Please like, rate, share, review, and all of that. All right. All right. Let me let me introduce you again. You know what I mean? I've got, I got my brother Woods on the line. What's going on? Hey, much, man. Hope everybody out there doing good. Hope you're doing good. All right. All right. So now let's get back into it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to say get back into it. The, the 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 beginning of that shit probably gonna get edited the hell out, but um we got to start all over again. So now a lot of people are like, what the hell is he talking about? Now I mean, don't even worry about it because the shit gonna get edited out any damn way. Y'all ain't gonna see it. But um back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean back to what I was saying. I mean I can't remember too. The Eagles had a bye week. I, I can't remember too much what happened. Now I mean this week of football. And I'm saying, but um like I said, anything memorable happened for you? Uh, just, uh, it was, well, selfishly, I'm in that suicide pool, you know, I was talking about. So a lot of people got canceled out because they picked the Bengals and, um, Buffalo last week and them two got upset. So, like, now I'm down to, like, 2,500 in this suicide pool and it started off with 20,000. Mm. So, I mean, that's, that probably was the uh, most memorable thing, I would say. You know, that upset of Cincinnati. Uh, Cleveland, they had a good win last week. Uh, that was a good game against Baltimore. And then uh, San Fran, you know, they trashed the shit out of Jacksonville. Uh, I mean, that wasn't a good game. It wasn't a good game, but that was just, like, uh, showing that San Fran, you know, still got that dominant level in them. Um, when they want to turn on, and when they help you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Um. Yeah, I kind of thought. I mean, Forty Nines would just bounce with 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 bounce back. Um. Yeah, man. Denver, cause Denver beat the Bills, right? Denver beat the Bills. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, you never know, man. Um. Yeah, I mean, Buffalo, I mean, Denver, to believe it or not, you know, I don't fuck with them, but I look up and they won like four games in a row, four games in a row. So, I mean, things are starting to turn around a little bit for them. But um, to me, I mean, they offense still look trash, but I mean, they winning games, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. yeah. but, I mean, it's a new week, and hopefully we'll see what happens, man. Uh, I'm just uh, ready for the suicide pool. You know, I'm still hanging in there. I don't really know who to pick this week, um, but I, I mean, I'm just excited because I'm I'm still in there. Still got a chance, and I mean, I know people out there in the world don't care, but I mean, we talking about some hundred thousand. I can win if I win this joint. No man, I mean, Chuck. Trust me, they care about everything you talk about. Now it's probably a bunch of them. Now I mean, in them same type of pools. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, they do all that stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? That's why they take to you so much, because y'all do, do the same. They do the same stuff. You know what I mean? But, um, right. yeah, so you said you still in one. One of them you still in? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Only one left. I mean, I, I got all the other ones I was in. Uh, I was in some ESPN joints and shit like that. I'm out there. So the only one, I got one left. And, um, I got to rock out with it, man. Okay. All right, man. You know, uh, good luck, man, and, and good luck to everybody else out there who still might be. And I know most of them are probably like, man, we've been out them Jones, man. Look, no, no, man, there's probably a few of them left out here that's that's man still in it, man. But um, yeah, man. Um, I do remember. I do remember the bill. I mean, I do remember the Bills losing to the Broncos, but um. I don't know if we called that game or not. Or we said that game could go either way. I don't know. I can't. I can't hundred percent remember what we said. We, but, we um, thought Buffalo will win. I, I remember that, but I mean, okay. we did. Yeah. That's kind of say it might be close, but I, I know. I don't think either one of us picked Denver to okay. win that shit. All right. All right. 
Yeah, but we did, you know what I mean, think that uh, 49 was going to eventually is going to bounce back. So they, you know what I mean? So they got out of the, they got out of their slump. Um, but um, other than that, man, not, not, I mean, I can't think of nothing else. Oh man, listen, man, um, you know, I, you know, I do the week to week um fantasy and all that. You know what I mean? Shout out to uh the Dak. You know what I mean? Des, Dak Prescott. You know what I mean? He got me. He won me a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So I got to give it up to him. You know what I'm saying? He got me a couple of dollars. You know what I mean? Winning when they supposed to win. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They handle. You know what I mean? They handle their business. You know what I'm saying? Um. Shout out to uh, CD Lamb, know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I like to pick CD Lamb. I don't know where all this, he ain't no number one and he ain't elite. I don't know where that's coming from, like I said. You know what I mean? It's people that probably forgot more about football than I know, but he always been a reliable pick to me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? In fantasy, you know what I mean? But um, I got to give it up to them, you know what I mean? They they handle business, man. They won me a couple of dollars, man. You know what I mean? Dak did win me a couple of dollars, so. Yeah. So. I like the hair. You know what I mean? But um over than that, man, like I said, man, it's week eleven. You know what I mean? Um we can get into it whenever you're ready, you know what I mean? All right. Well, since it's Thursday, I mean, we just gonna skip over the Thursday game and that's going on now as we speak. Uh so we're just gonna go right to Sunday. We got Pittsburgh, they going to Cleveland. Cleveland is minus one half point favorites. The total is 32 and a half. That's like one of the lowest totals I've seen in the NFL game. Might be, might be ever. That's a low ass total. Um, you know that the Sean Watson, he out for the year. So, you know, I guess they saying Pittsburgh defense is tough. Cleveland defense is tough. And, um, Cleveland wise and rely on a defense for the rest of the year because I believe they're gonna have a rookie uh, quarterback at quarterback. I'm um, quarterback for UCLA, uh, Dorian Thomas Robinson. Um, he's gonna be uh, filling in and just going. So I guess it's gonna take some time for him to get his shit going. So they expecting a low ass score. So when I see these low ass totals, like when we, Iowa Hawkeyes and you know, college, they be having like thirty point totals, and that shit still go under. So the only thing I got for this game, I'm going to pick the under. It's low as shit, but I'm going to rock out with it. And um, as far as who's going to win it, um, I think Cleveland's still going to win this game, to be honest. Mm. Uh, but I, the only play I really got is the uh, total I'm going under. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, um, so he's saying 32 and a half. So what they expect him to be like – Close game or something like that, or one of these field goal games or something like that. I mean, they just they ain't gonna fucking ten to thirteen game or something. And you expecting the offenses to be trash? Okay, yeah. So um, I don't know, man, because Cleveland can su- can surprise you, man. Cleveland can surprise uh-huh. you, man. And um, what's my man name, man? A wide receiver, man. I be forgetting. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes, man, he be looking like he still got some gas left from the tank, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah, he do. You know what I mean? Because people be counting him out. And next thing you know, he might get a couple touchdowns or something like that. Yeah, I think um, I think Cleveland can still – yeah, I think Cleveland can win this game, man. I, you know what I mean? I do think Cleveland can win this game. Um, Yeah, thir- yeah they saying 32 and a half. Yeah, it might be – yeah, yeah, it ain't going to be – it may not be no game where, you know, they going back and forth as a shootout, but, you know, you know what I mean? It might be a low-scoring game, but I think Cleveland could win this game. But at the same time, man, that Pittsburgh still is just so, like, uh, I mean, unpredictable, man. I don't know. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. Tom, I mean, they got a great coach, but they just don't, man, offensively, man, they just ain't, I don't know, it, 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 just, it, just, it just ain't clicking, man. It just ain't clicking right now. So I don't know if it's the coordinator or what. You know what I'm saying? I don't know mm-hmm. what it is. You know what I mean? But um, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I won't be surprised if Cleveland, if Cleveland win this, or who knows? It might be a field goal game, or it might be a game where, where you think it's gonna be one of them close games, and I think Cleveland just gonna really like score. You know what I'm saying? And people are like, damn, they really scored. You know what I'm saying? But um, mm-hmm. I do think Cleveland gonna win this joint, man. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna go with Cleveland on that one. 
I, I respect it. Definitely, I definitely think Cleveland will win as well. I mean, I can see that happening. Uh, so next, we got Arizona going to Houston. Houston is four and a half point favorites. Total was 48 and a half. Kyler Murray had a good game last week. He's back in action. Houston, you know, they just keep shocking the world. Um, I would say I kind of like the over in this. I think both, both offenses will be able to do something on, a, on the defense. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know about the, the, the spread. I still I think he's going to win, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Arizona kept it tight. But the only play I really have is the over on the total. I think uh, both offenses should give at least 20 points. Mm-hmm. And uh, it might be like a 28 to 20 game, or well, that won't be over. 28 to 21 game, or 28 24 game, some shit like that. But yeah, that's 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 what I got for that game over. Hmm. Um, yeah, man. Um, Houston, I think they can win this one. I think I think Arizona. I don't know if they a little hyped up because Kyler Murray is back or whatever. I don't know. Now I mean I don't know if that maybe that was just like one game or something like that. Or who knows? Now I'm saying he might. I don't know. He might be rejuvenated or something like that, man. But I do think Houston. Should be able to win this game. Houston should be able to win this uh-huh. game, man. Um, like I said, now I mean I don't know. Now I mean I want to see how Arizona, now I mean responds to Kyler Murray being back. Like okay, if they can ride that momentum or something like you know, you know what I mean, or was just like all right, man. You know he ran around for one game and then we right back to being in purgatory. Really not, you know what I mean? I I don't know. You know what I mean? But Houston, <laughs> Houston. Should be able to win this game. They should. You know what I mean? Now, if Arizona win this game, you might say, all right. You know what I mean? Kyle Murray came back, kind of like gave him like second win. You know what I'm saying? And they just really trying to, you know what I mean, rally around him and play or whatever. But um, uh-huh. to me, Houston should win this game. You know what I mean? Houston should win this game. You know what I mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Houston. All right. Um, I'm just starting to look at the – Four and a half. Um, you think that it should be more? Like, you think that? I think I'm looking at the spread. I'm just trying to see if that might be like an Arizona type of line. Because Arizona's two and eight. Houston is five and four. They home. I mean, I would expect Houston to be favored by like six or something. I mean, I'm thinking that might be saying Arizona might got a chance to win this game. Now that I'm looking at this. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna stick with my original thought though, with just the over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, now, now I mean they might be thinking the same thing I'm saying because they gotta see if you know, like I said, Arizona might be rejuvenated. Kyler Murray done came back. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? They might be riding that wave, and you know they might. Not, uh-huh. now, I mean they might that that might up their play. You know what I mean? So really, now I mean it's the game to see. Now I mean now if they go out here and they just get now they just get blown out. You know what I mean? C.J. Stroud is looking like, you know what I mean? He look, he looking like, you know what I mean? Warren Moon is somebody out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then uh, yeah. he like, <laughs> all right, that was it. And I mean, and I mean, Arizona rode the the, the wave for, for for one game or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Now they back to being them, you know what I mean? So I guess that's what that line is saying. Like, okay, we got to see if this is really, they really going to like rally around them and he like, he, like, really kind of, like, rejuvenated them, got them hyped up, ready to play. You know what I mean? Because Kyle Murray them came back. You know what I mean? Are they going to be hyped up, ready to play or what? You know what I mean? So, so we going to see, man. Right, right. All right. Next, we got L.A. Chargers going to Green Bay. L.A. is minus three and a half. No, just minus three-point favorites. Total 43 and a half. Both teams just uh, – I don't know, man. They they not really especially Chargers is not really reaching their potential. Mm-hmm. Uh, both teams need a win. I feel as though Chargers uh, got the better offense, obviously, but I just can't trust them. I feel like they defense, they coach, let them down, and um, I don't know, man. I'm I'm walking out with Green Bay on this one. I mm-hmm. think Green Bay will win it. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. 
I don't know, man. I don't trust either one of these teams, to be honest, but uh, I'm going to get that spread as well. I mean, for Chargers to be three-point favorites on the road, I mean, that's kind of saying a lot as well. I'm trying to look at the records. Uh, yeah, Chargers 4-5, Green Bay 3-6. Uh, looking at that spread... I might got to say, you know, the Chargers will win now that I look at it like that. Mm. Uh, I really got no strong, strong play on it, but I look at this spread. I'm going to go with the Chargers. I'm going to flip-flop on myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to ride out with the Chargers just by looking at that spread. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to go with the Packers. Uh-huh. I just feel like they just, they just really gonna need the win to try to stay in it. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, what they uh-huh. you said they three and six. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm saying they three and six. So I just think they just need to win. They just need to just win more. You know what I mean? So I think they just gonna play a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? Because they just gonna all right. Because if we fall behind, it's like if um I got an echo in the back. What is that? You hear yourself? Yeah. I don't I don't know. I ain't, I ain't do nothing. All right. Yeah, um Um what was I saying? Yeah, because if they lose this one, they go to like three and what, seven then, right? So basically they uh-huh. like, man, we about to just chalk the season at that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that they just uh-huh. just like the just like the whole flow of the season, I j I'm I just think that they gonna win this game. You know what I'm saying? Just to kinda like keep they Hopes alive of having a decent record. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they're gonna fall to three and seven. So I just think the Packers just just need this game more, and this is this is gonna go their way. Things just gonna go their way. So I'm picking the Packers. All right. Uh, next we got New York Giants. They playing Washington Commanders. Washington is nine and a half point favorites. Total thirty six and a half. Uh, Giants, we all know, you know, struggling offensively. They got that Tommy DeVito on um, that quarterback, and he's not looking all that well. Washington uh, still fighting, hanging in there. So, you know, the Giants got a nice little winning streak going on. Eventually, this shit got to come to an end, but uh, I don't know. Something's just telling me I can't bet uh, that much points, you know, nine and a half. That's a lot of points. So, if anything, I would pick the Giants to cover it. But that's also a low ass total as well, 36 and a half. Uh, I'm kind of looking at the under. Um, Giants can't score like that. Watson, they can score, but you see that the Giants tend to play them well and kind of hold their offense kind of in check. Mm-hmm. So. If anything, I'll pick the Giants or the under. But right now, I'm looking at the Giants to cover that nine-half point spread. It's just that's just a lot of points to cover. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, man. Somebody got to win. Somebody got to lose. So now, I mean, they're in the Eagles division. So it would be great if the Giants win and Washington lose, but. Because I ain't really too worried about the Giants no more. I really need the Giants to win. I need the Giants to beat them, but I don't know how that's I don't I don't know how that's happening. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless this is just like um they quarterbacks like Cinderella game where everything just go right for him. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So I mean it ha- has happened, so you know what I mean? I hope the Giants win, but chances are Washington's going to win. But I would love for the Giants to win because I need Washington to lose. You know what I mean? I really uh-huh. need Washington. The Eagles really need Washington to lose more than the Giants to lose. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? I would love for the Giants to win, but chances are Washington's going to win. But I would really, I'm really hoping that the Giants win. So that's how I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about either one of them teams, bro. Washington, they they not gonna make the playoffs. I highly doubt it, but I mean I understand what you're saying. We are gonna move on to uh, Tennessee going to Jacksonville. Jacksonville was minus seven point favorites. Total is forty and a half. Uh, 
Jacksonville, they need this game bad. They coming off a loss, getting smashed by San Fran. Um, so I, I'm thinking about picking Jacksonville on the suicide pool. So I guess it's only right that I will. Well, seven points is a lot to cover, but I guess it's only right that I will pick Jacksonville to cover this game as well. But I think they're going to win this. They need this um, to get back on track. So I think I'm right out with Jacksonville. Will Levis, uh, the quarterback of Tennessee, he looks good. But hopefully, you know, since I'm, I'm thinking I'm picking Jacksonville. Hopefully, Will Levis gonna be doing shit this game. Hopefully, he'll look like look like a rookie and uh, throw a couple picks or something like that. Mm-hmm. But he looks good though. I, I, I pumped it on, you know, as far as his arm and all that. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna rock out with Jacksonville on this. Um. Man, I feel like these two teams play every other week. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like that for some for some odd reason. Yeah, man, they uh, quarterback look good, man. But I don't think they're gonna be able to keep it together this season. I mean, I don't think they be able to do. I mean, do much this season. But I mean, he do look like he have. He do look like he's the real deal. You know what I mean? Now, what they gonna do with him if they gonna build around him, and what they gonna try to do? For the future, I don't know. But um, I do feel like this could be a, a bounce-back game for Jacksonville. And like I said, man, um, Trevor Lawrence, man, it's like it's like he got it, but it's like I don't know just the team or the coaching or what. Now what I mean? Talent-wise, he got it because you can see it some of them games, man. Now what I mean? Some of them things is great, so you can see the talent, but it's like – it's just like he on a team that I don't know, half halfway care. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, shout to um the Dougie P. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean, we always gonna love mm-hmm. him here in Philadelphia, but I don't know if this is just gonna be. I don't know if he can get the whole team together. You know what I'm saying? I trust I trust him with the quarterback, but as far as the rest of the team, I don't know if he's just as far as the head coach. He's the best fit as head coach. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's just something's not clicking, and I just feel like, now nah, I mean, Trevor Lawrence is starting to like, time is starting to go by, and hit, know what I mean, and he's supposed to be like moving like the whole team is just not moving on the upward tick, and now that's kind of like affecting him too. It's kind of like two steps forward, one step back type of thing. But um, I do, uh, I do feel like they can, they can get this win. I do feel like they can get this win. Know what I mean? I do feel like they can get this win. Even though, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I like the quarterback in Tennessee. I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he the real deal. Like you said, he might be in the same – he might end up being in the same type of situation as that Trevor Lawrence is in where, all right, you can see that they the real deal, but the rest of the team is so-so and you – you know what I'm saying? And they, and they, in, purg- uh-huh. they in purgatory, you know what I mean, where they should be starting to be upward, you know what I mean, upward to start being good, but they still staying like in purgatory. So he might end up being in the same type of situation that Trevor Lawrence is in. You know what I mean? Where it's a quarterback, you look at him and tell, okay, he's a good quarterback, but team-wise, they just like staying, you know what I'm saying? They just like purgatory. So, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So, so you know what I mean? Hopefully, you know what I mean? But I do, you know what I mean? But I said all that to say, you know what I mean? I, I, think, I think Jacksonville going to be able to pull this win out. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going with Jacksonville. Alright, I'd like to hear that. Uh, next, I got another team that I'm thinking about for the suicide pool. Uh, I thought I'm picking Jacksonville, but uh, we got Chicago Bears going to Detroit Lions. Mm. Detroit is seven and a half point favorite. Total is 47 and a half. Now, Justin Fields is coming back. He's going to be playing this week. And it's something telling me that's the reason why I'm not picking Detroit this week. I was I was definitely going to pick them until I heard Justin Field coming back. Mm. Uh, that shit that happened with Colin Murray last week, you know, the first game back, and they just, you know, turned the whole hopes around for the team. And they, they derived that momentum, and they win a the game. So I'm kind of nervous about that. You know, then Detroit played Thanksgiving. So that's a – you know, this since they got a good team, you know, they're probably looking forward to playing on Thanksgiving this year because they finally get a chance to win on Thanksgiving. They always lose on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. But now they got a good team. They might be looking at it like we finally going to get the win. 
So I'm kind of sketchy about picking Detroit. That's why I'm picking a rock out with Jacksonville this week. But um, for as far as for this game, I think I'm going to pick Chicago to cover that seven and a half point spread. Mm. They might even beat them, man. I, I'm, I'm telling you, something's telling me Chicago got a chance to win this game. Um, but I definitely think they could cover that seven and a half point spread. And I kind of like the over that 47 and a half as well. Okay. Who Detroit play on Thanksgiving? Green Bay. Okay, they play in Green Bay. It's like they always play on Thanksgiving. Is 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 it the same like four teams that play on Thanksgiving? Because who Dallas play? No, it's always it's always Detroit and Dallas. But Dallas yeah. playing on this year is Washington. They play in Washington. All right, okay. Yeah. And then a night game is always something different. Night game is Seattle and San Fran. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, they just threw the third game in like a few years. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean, yeah. I remember it was a, you, you saw it was just, just be like Detroit and then Dallas. You know what I mean? They threw the third game in. You know what I mean? Like, all right, we might as well just control the whole day then. You know what I'm saying? We want the whole day. I mean, I feel right, it, right. You know what I mean? But if I was a player, I wouldn't want to play on any Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Um, but back to this game. Yeah, I don't know if they going. I don't. I don't know if they going to be handling Justin Fields with kid gloves, or they just going like turn him loose because, I mean, on the top of your head or whatever. Do you do you, do you know what their record is? The Bears record. Um, three and seven. Three. Yeah, man. Three, three and seven. Yeah, man. Three and seven. I don't know if they just on some. All right, man. You know what I mean? Pack pack it up. You know what I mean? We ain't gonna try to do too much this season or. I don't know if they just going to turn him loose and do whatever because you know how it is with the coaches. You now, I mean, Chicago just be getting rid of a coach. So, I don't know if he feel like, man, I'm out of here anyway, so just go and let him ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I might end up getting fired anyway. So, I ain't uh-huh. so I, I ain't going to handcuff him because I probably not even going to be here next year to even be coaching him. So, whatever he want to do, well, now I mean, we just, you know, just going to let it all hang out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We just going to get it done. Yeah, because you could think that it's going to be an automatic win for Detroit, and it might not. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, for real, for, and, then, and then, yeah, because, because say he come back and then, you know, he the whole story of the week. You know what I mean? He done had the, he done had his best game so far as a pro. You know what I mean? You'd be like, damn, okay. He done, he done, <laughs> he done threw a couple touchdowns. He done ran for a couple touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? You'd be saying that. Uh-huh. Because I mean, it's not too far fetched that, and you said Detroit is playing Green Bay on Thanksgiving. Listen, man, yeah. man, it ain't too far fetched that they lose both games this week. Oh shit, damn! You know what I'm saying? That'd be something. You know what I mean? I wouldn't uh. be surprised if they lost both games. So, uh. yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, man. Like you said, and I mean, it's not no automatic win for them because, like I said, Justin Fields can come out to go out there and run around and ball. Like I said. It's something about um, it's something about Jared Goff is like, you can see his talent, but then his games where he just like regressing. Know what I mean, you see why like the the Rams is like, yo, he. Know what I mean, we gotta like get him out of here. Know what I mean, he he had games where you just see that. Know what I mean, you had games where he be throwing like unbelievable passes. Then it be game be like, yo, come on, man. Know what I mean, you playing like come on, I've seen high school quarterbacks. Know what I mean, that not I mean that they like they like they just they can play better. It's just, it's just something about, it's just something about him. I'm like, you can you can see the talent is there, but then it's like his games he just regress, and you don't even know mm-hmm. like what he's thinking about. You know what I'm saying? So he can have one of them games. Now I mean, it could be like a perfect storm where he might have a bad game, and Justin Fields have a great game. You know what I mean? Like I say, they just they just turn him loose, whatever he want to do. You know what I mean? So 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 don't be surprised, people out there. Don't be surprised if. If the Bears beat the Lions, do not be surprised. You know what I mean? I don't think it's gonna be an automatic win. You know what I mean? Don't be surprised. Like I said, don't be surprised if they if Thanksgiving come around, if Thanksgiving come around, they they end up losing the Green Bay. You know what I mean? Don't be surprised if they lose two games in the same week. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know what I mean, don't be surprised. Scary times in Detroit. That'd be some scary times. Some motherfuckers gonna be mad as hell up there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah, because yeah, because they just let him just play, and then you know, 
Now they mess around and win it. Then they turn around and got to play on Thanksgiving. They might be banged up. They might be tired. Like I said, Green Bay, they trying to, like, get about the hole before they fall too far in the hole, and they season is lost. You know what I'm saying? So they might come play. They they, they might probably be playing hard. But they like, listen, you know what I mean? We, 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 we don't want to fall too far in the hole to where our season is just over with. You know what I'm saying? We just coasting. Because we ain't got nothing to play for, you know what I mean? We might be trying to crawl out of the hole. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? That uh-huh. that that could happen, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know what I mean? Don't be surprised if 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 if, if Detroit lose both games this week, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think it's no automatic win because they playing the Bears. Just because they playing the Bears is going to be an automatic win. Now, of course, they could win, but I don't think it's going to be just an automatic win how most people just think it's going to be an automatic win. Like I said, the Thanksgiving game may not be no automatic win because Green Bay can come in here and play hard too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? A lot of these teams are going to start playing hard just to have a respectable record. They may feel like, all right, we may not make it to the – some of these teams may be like, all right, we may not make it to the playoffs or whatever, but or, or we might. Some people might be playing for a wild card or whatever or just playing for a respectable record. So, down the stretch, people are going to start playing hard. Even, people, even teams that you think like – all right, it's going to pack it up. No, it's people that's going to be trying to play. We need to be at least some, you know what I mean, compete. We got to have a respectable record. You know what I mean? So, that's all. All right. Well, we got another team that's playing well and trying to get to a respectable record, which is the Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders, Vegas Raiders are going to Miami, and they're playing uh, in Miami, playing the Dolphins. It's, uh, the spread is 12 and a half. Miami's the favorite. Total's 46 and a half. Mm. Miami's coming off a bye. Vegas got like two wins in a row after they fired their coach. Mm. Um, I think all that shit going to come to an end this week. I think Miami's going to trash them. Mm. I like Miami to come in at 12 and a half. Um, and uh, that be the end of, you know, that winning streak for the Raiders. Yeah. I mean, I have too much more I need to say about that. I just think Miami going to come out and trash them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I think that I think uh, Miami gonna really get back to like they offense gonna start clicking, gonna really start clicking again this game. Now I mean, two two of my throw like four touchdowns this game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised. We mm-hmm. throw about four touchdowns this game. I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? I think um yeah the Raiders gonna come back down to earth. You know what I'm saying? They got hyped up and all that. Now, I mean, they trying to like change their culture or whatever, and now I mean, in like the middle of the season. So I guess they got a coach that they like connect with and they like or whatever. You know what I'm saying? The atmosphere mm-hmm. gotta change, but let's be for real, y'all still gotta go out here and win it. Now, I mean, I feel like Miami they gonna get back, they offense gonna get back clicking. You know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be surprised if Tua throw like four. You hear about them threw like four touchdowns this game or something like that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm expecting them. I'm expecting Miami to just go on it, not, not me to handle business. All right. Now we got uh, Dallas going to Carolina. Dallas is 10 and a half point favorites. Total is 41 and a half. Y'all get some uh, layups, Dallas. Man. Y'all be getting layups. Yeah, for now, that schedule get a little tough, but I mean, we don't, we don't got time for your little. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you sound like a baby and shit. We don't, need, <laughs> we don't got time for that, man. We gotta take care of business. That's all that matters. Play, yeah. play who's in front right. of us. Right? Yeah, I mean, I do. That's about. I was about yeah, to man. say that too. Yeah, play who's in front. Got time for that. I mean, get a bunch of layups, man. Get, I mean, give him some layups, man. Get the confidence back, man. Mike Dak, Dak, that's mm-hmm. right. He, he gonna, he might throw four more. Old. Nah, I mean, they playing Carolina, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm most definitely uh, picking Dak again as my quarterback. Oh, nah, shit. Nah, I mean, the Dak CD Lamb combo. Nah, I mean, they 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 good for a couple touchdowns. Nah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. You know what we do when we play it on week team. So, you know, every time I, like I say, pick those games, you should go against me. So, I get them wrong most of the time. But I like Dallas to cover the spread. I don't think Carolina will be able to hang in there with us. But just something telling me, you know, the old Dallas, with the, we, we'll find ways to let them hang around and fucking they might even scare us. But I, I, I think they're going to bust their ass. Mm-hmm. Um, Thanksgiving, that's the game I'm worried about. 
But this game right here, I think that was going to win for um, about like 20 points. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Um. Like I said, I mean, I will be picking Dak again this week. I mean, the Dak CD Lamb, you know what I'm saying? One-two punch. Now, I mean, I see you. Now, now when, he, when they got a team like this, yeah, they, yeah, they're going to try to score quick. Now, I mean, the first couple of times, now, I mean, that's why, you know what I mean, as far as fantasy, now, I mean, I'm going to pick I'm gonna pick Dak, team him up with CeeDee Lamb because I know he's going to go to him early. Now, I mean, they're going to try to score early. You know what I mean? The first couple quarters, they're going to try to score at least two or three times. Now, I mean, get him out of there and get, now, now, I mean, get him defeated early, mentally defeated early, so – yeah, yeah, I'm going, yeah. yeah, I'm rolling. I'm rolling with the Cowboys on this one. Like I said, you know what I mean? They should go in there and handle business. You know what I'm saying? And not, I don't know, like you said, they might you know, you know, take take your foot off the gas or whatever. And they say, you know, they score a couple times or whatever. People get lackadaisy. You know what I mean? The defense get lackadaisy thinking it's an easy win. Then next thing you know, you know what I mean? The team, you know what I mean? Their team is back in the game. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I mean? That... To me, that kind of be like the Eagles thing, you know what I'm saying, where they just feel like the offense got it. So, I mean, I be feeling like the defense just be getting lackadaisy. And the next thing you know, mm-hmm. the team done, you know what I mean, the team done scored a couple times on them, and now they right back in the game. But they just assuming that, oh, well, the offense looking so unstoppable, we ain't really got to go too hard. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, like you said, you know what I mean, this, that, that don't happen to Dallas. I mean, it really don't matter to me, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. <laughs> You know what I mean? I just, yeah, I bet. You know what I mean? Long as Dak, long as Dak and CeeDee Lamb, you know what I mean? Score at least two touchdowns together. Dak might get about three. You know what I mean? No, I is. He might throw two, then run in for one. You know what I mean? Then, um, mm. then, um, you know who, who I'm about to start picking? I'm about to start picking, uh, the tight end. You know what I mean? The red zone, they be going to that tight end. What's his name? Schultz or whatever? Ferguson. 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 Schultz, yeah, Houston, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. our title yeah. last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ferguson, you know what I'm saying? They like to go to him and come, you know what I mean, the red zone. So, so that good for a couple of the CD Lamb, one to the tight end. Then, you know, that might run in for one. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, I would be going with that uh, this week. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know what I mean? I mean, I would love – I would love for Carolina to win, but you know what I mean? But um that would that would be like a Christmas present, you know what I'm saying? That'd be asking for too much, man. But um <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go. Right. Yeah, I would, yeah, I'm going with the Cowboys just handle business, man. All right, smart man. All right, next we got Tampa Bay going to San Fran. San Fran is a eleven point eleven and a half point favorite. Total is forty one and a half. Uh San Fran got back on track last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, Detroit, Jacksonville, Tampa Bay. Uh, I don't even know who, know who they played last week. Man, what what what, what they do? Oh, they played uh, Tennessee. They beat Tennessee last week. Uh, San Fran. They, I mean, they're gonna win the game. I, I would I would definitely think eleven and a half points is a lot though. But I think I just don't believe in Tampa like that. Uh, so I. I think San Fran got a chance to cover that whole 11 and a half, but I'm not going to, you know, bet that, bet, that, bet nothing with this game. But San Fran should win this game, uh, keep things pushing. If anything, maybe the under, under 41 and a half, but I already got no strong opinion on this game. Yeah. Um, I think Tampa Bay, see, I don't, I don't I don't want to say steal the game, but I think they got a chance to win this game. Mm. For some odd reason, I just think they got a chance to win this game. I really do. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it might be one of them close field goal games or something like. You know what I mean? Something like that. You know what I mean? At the end of the game or something like that. But um, because everybody think okay, San Fran, okay, they click. You know what I mean? They back clicking and rolling, but um. Some odd reason, I think Tampa Bay got a chance to win this game. I really do. For some reason, I do. I don't think it's just automatic that all right, San Fran's back and they just gonna go right back to roll, just just rolling over, running over everybody. Nah, 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 nah. I do think. I don't know. Some odd reason, I think uh, Tampa Bay could win this game. Like I said, it might be one of the field goal games. Game come down to the to the last play or something. One of the last plays or something like that. You know what I mean? 
or something like that. Or who mm-hmm. knows, it might might be an overtime game. Who knows? But um, for some odd reason, I'm just gonna go with Tampa Bay. I don't know. All right. I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't even explain why. I just feel like I feel like Tampa Bay could win this one. So for some odd reason, I don't even know why. Can't even tell you why. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it be like that, but that's a lot of points for them to get that they get at 11 and a half. So, I mean, that's not a bad pick. I mean, it would take a lot for them to get blown out by more than 11. So, I mean, that's a good pick. Uh, next, this is a game where the spread is kind of surprising to me. Seattle's playing the Rams in L.A. Seattle's only one point favorite. Total was 46 and a half. Now I say it's surprising because Seattle's six and three, and the Rams are three and six. Mm-hmm. So why the hell is Seattle only favored by one? I know they're on the road, but I would still be expect them to be favored by three. Mm-hmm. So this is another one of those type of games where I'm going off the spread, and I would pick the Rams to win this game. Mm-hmm. I think the Rams. I don't know how they're gonna win it, but I think this is something where Vegas want people to bet on Seattle, and the Rams are going to get the upset here. Mhm. Yeah. 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 That sound like, like you said, because you you said the Rams is three and six. They three and six. Yeah. 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 So they they at that point where it's like they they really really need this win. You know what I'm saying? They really 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 mm-hmm. need this win. And I think they just gonna get it just because of the flow of the season. They. They not gonna go to th- now. I don't think they're gonna fall to three or seven. I think they just gonna really get this win. I really think they're gonna get this win. That's why, yeah. You saying it's only a, they, they only a, a, see only one point favorite. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like a toss up, man. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if the Rams is. You know what I mean, if 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 they if they offense really start clicking and all that. You know what I'm saying? They throw. You know what I mean? At least three touchdowns or something like that. You know what I mean? I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I mean? But I do feel like mm-hmm. they're going to win this guy. This fight, they just need the game more. They just got probably got the mindset. You know what I mean? We don't want to fall too far in the hole. We just need this game more. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And I also, I remember I said that on uh, Thanksgiving, Seattle's playing San Fran. Okay. So it's okay. also going to be a look ahead game where they're looking ahead to, to that San Fran game. And. It just seemed like a perfect spot for the Rams, and I think that's why the spread is what it is. I think Vegas is trying to sucker people in the bed of Seattle. Okay. I think the Rams won't win it. Uh, All right. Uh, next, we got the Jets going to Buffalo. Uh, Jets is several point favorite. I mean, Buffalo is seven point favorite. Totals forty. Uh, Buffalo fired a offensive coordinator last week because um, they just keep. Fucking up all offense, Josh Allen keep turning the ball over, so they gotta fire somebody. Not gonna get rid of the quarterback, right? And we all know the Jets' problems on offense. Um, Jets beat them earlier this year, that first game of the year. That the Jets beat Buffalo, so this is kind of like a revenge game. The spread is still a little high. I'm still a little worried. I still think the Jets can cover that seven point spread, but Buffalo should win the game. Um. Yeah, I can't really pick Buffalo to cover that spread though. That's a lot of points, mm-hmm. and I don't know who knows, man. Maybe because uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, they like the offensive coordinator. That some of them, I think, uh, Josh Allen was kind of sad that they fired him. Said it's his fault um, that he got fired and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So that can either go two ways. Either he's gonna come out prove that. Uh, I don't know, either he's going to like be soaking and be sad or he's going to go out and, you know, show that, play good and show that it wasn't his fault. I don't, I don't know. I really can't call it. Only thing I'm going to say, I just say Jets going to cover the spread. Uh, like I said, that's a lot of points for a division game. Mm. Um, yeah, man, we got to see what his mind frame is. You know what I mean? He's going to go out there and ball. Now I mean, shut people up. But like you said, now I mean, offensive coordinator. Somebody had to take the f- not now I mean the blame. Somebody had to take the fall for that. Now I mean the way he's been playing mm-hmm. lately. I mean, which is which, which which is probably not even on him, but it, if it's gonna fall on him, um, but um, 
We'll see, man. Then the Jets. I mean, the Jets got to, like, they got to, like, summon all to get all their energy together just to have a chance to win. You know what I mean? I don't see it. Like you said, the Bills should win, but I don't think it's going to be no blowout game. I think it's going to be some boring behind slow game, and it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, 14, 14, 24, or something. You know what I'm saying? One of them type games where the whole game going to go slow. You know what I'm saying? And it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't going to be too, it ain't going to be too much, Zach. You know what I mean? It be 13, 21, mm -hmm. 13, 21, or 13, 24. You know what I'm saying? Some game where the whole game was boring. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. it just, but the Bills, the Bills should win this one. You know what I mean? The Bills should win this one, but I don't, like I said, it's probably going to be one of them, the, the, the game, the game, game going to be putting you to sleep. You know what I mean? One of them type of games, but um, the Bills, right. the, Bills the Bills should win this one. They should. All right. I agree with you. Uh, next, we got Minnesota going to Denver. Denver is two and a half point favorites. Total is 42 and a half. Uh, both teams got a nice little winning streak. Well, I don't, what happened with Minnesota last week? Something telling me that they lost last week. No, they won. Yeah, Minnesota got a nice little winning streak going as well as, as Denver. Um, can't really call it. It's like I always pick against Denver because I just don't fuck with them. Mm -hmm. But um, I can't hate hate that they winning. So gonna be a good game, man. Two teams trying to get their shit, well, got their shit together. This is a Sunday night game. That kind of sucks. Um, yeah, but I, 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 I can't call it, man. Both these teams, I don't like. <laughs> but if I had to pick one, Denver's home. I was about to pick Denver, and, and you know I keep expecting Joshua Dobbs to fall back down to earth, but he just keep you know doing his magical thing. So, but I'm just gonna rock up with Denver, man. As much as I hate to say it, because I don't fuck with them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna rock up with Denver. Um. Yeah, man. I think they. I think uh, Denver. They um they um Yeah, man, after that win, I don't know if they gonna be able to just continue the momentum or what. Now I mean I don't know if they got the team. I I don't know I don't know if that was just a one shot type of thing where it's like, all right, all right, we're gonna go right back to being like purgatory and nobody wanna be here playing on this team and all that. Oh, we gonna really carry that, be hyped up and carry that and try to, you know, you know what I mean? Compete for the rest of the season. I don't know. You know what I mean? Go out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Go out there and they go right back to playing the way they was playing before. Where don't nobody, you know what I mean? Feel like they just here. All right, man, this this season of wash. I'm just here to get my check. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I really can't call this game because I don't know. You just got to see if they really going to be hyped up thinking like, Okay, we could try to make something out of this season or at least compete and have a respectable record. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We deserve, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So so really, you know what I mean? This is the game to see, man. Um, I said Joshua Dobbs, I like him. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna see if he can go down there. He not, not I mean he can really go like pull a rabbit out of the hat and really just you know I mean, not I mean just maintain, man. If he can score about if they, if they can score about three touchdowns, I think they can win this game. I think they can win this game with about three touchdowns, man. They get three touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Some miles away, get about three touchdowns. I don't know if he got to throw for two and run one in or something like that, or run two in and throw for one. One, I mean something. Now I mean, I, I just feel like mm -hmm. if they can get, they can get to at least twenty-one points. I feel like they can win this game. You know what I mean? So this is a winnable game for them. Like I said, man, Denver. They, now I mean, we just got to sit back and see if they really on some like, oh no, all right. Now I mean, we 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 didn't got. We done got like, you know I mean, reactivated or whatever, and we really trying to play, you know, I'm mean? really trying to finish this season out strong and play hard. I don't know, you know what I mean? I, I just feel like if, if the Vikings can get about, get about, score by at least 21, 20, 21, I feel like they can, they can get out of there with a win. Okay. Okay. Uh, we got the game of the, game of the week, Monday night, Kansas City. Philadelphia is going to Arrowhead Stadium, and they're playing the Chiefs. 
Big time game. Chiefs is two two and a half point favorites. Totals forty five and a half. Uh, I hate to say I expect the Eagles to win this game. We all know how Andy Reid does coming out the bar. But uh, I feel like, you know, the Eagles don't want to win this game since they lost the Super Bowl. Kind of like the under. Uh, I heard on the radio that the defensive coordinator for the Chiefs message to his defense was like, um, you know, last year in the Super Bowl, we didn't do good. Eagles scored like 37 points to the bus. Trying to, you know, you know, send a challenge to them and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And we know uh, Kansas City offense kind of can't score like that this year. So I kind of like the under as well. Um, but I like the Eagles to win it. Yeah, I like the under. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Um, I think we can get this. We can get this win. Now, I mean, the Eagles, now, I mean, I think we can we can most definitely get this win. Like I said, they not the they not the unstoppable machine. Not now I mean how they was looking before. They just don't look like that. Now I mean now they can score. Now I mean, it's, they just don't look like just unstoppable. No matter now I'm saying no matter who they going up against, defense going against, they they just don't look. Chiefs, Chiefs just don't look like that no more. Now I'm saying so. Mm-hmm. So uh, we got a chance, and plus now I mean we got type of offense that we can wear their defense out. They defense ain't. You know, super stellar and all that. You know what I'm saying? They one of them teams that like they rely more on their offense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, offense gonna score points. So now I mean, we been, but now I mean that one of them Jones, they do like been, but don't break or whatever. But they be breaking a lot. Mm-hmm. But it's like they offense was just so good, it didn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Even though they, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Even though their defense was breaking, their offense was just clicking on all cylinders. So they was just scoring so easy, so it didn't matter. So now the offense done came down a little, a, a, a half a notch or whatever. You can see that. Like I said, now, I mean, we got a chance to win. All we got to do, man, defense got to play solid. I mean, Eagles defense, now, I mean, we got to play solid. Now, I mean, defensive line got to get the patty. You know what I'm saying? They got to get the patty. I'm calling it <laughs> the patty. The patty huh? They got to get the patty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Straight up. You know what I'm saying? They got to have them running around and all that. Trying to throw the ball side on him and all that, man. He can't be comfortable. Now I'm saying he can't. Mm-hmm. Now I mean he can't. He can't be comfortable. Like I said, now I mean our DBs really got to step up. Like I said, now I mean they, now I mean they wide receivers they got. They ain't no real world world beaters like that. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean now I mean the Chief got like some serviceable guys, but they not like world beaters. You know what I'm saying? We worry about Travis Kelsey. You know what I mean? Um. Like I said, man, if we put the – if we start pressuring them, you know what I'm saying, we really have them, like, frustrated, knocking down. You know what I mean? Knocking down a few times, we got to get to him. You know what I mean? Some of our players, like, people like – you know what I mean? This this the game to let people like Josh Sweat, you know what I mean? T- you know what I mean? Take the you – know I mean, turn him loose. You know what I'm saying? Have him mm-hmm. out there going after, you know what I'm saying? Mahomes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? This is a hey. winnable game for us. This is a winnable game for us. You know what I mean? Like I said – our defensive line got to put the pressure on. Them. You know what I'm saying? The defensive line got to put the pressure on them. Offense gonna be able to take care of business. Offense is gonna be able to take care of business. Defensive line has really got to really get the pressure on them. You know what I mean? Really got to get the pressure on them. Like I said, him, Travis Kelsey, they're gonna connect a few times. That's just them. They the best in the business as far as quarterback tied in. So, but if we can contain that. And then shut the rest of them wide receivers down. Like I said, they ain't got no world beaters on that team for no wide receivers. You know what I mean? They ain't got nobody on that team that can nobody. You know what I mean? None of our DBs shut down and put the clamps on. We should be able to put the clamps on them. So once we do that, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? They defense can't do nothing with our offense. They ain't really doing too much with us. You know what I'm saying? We can throw the ball all over the place. And – now I mean, and with the running backs we got, Swift. Now I mean, now I mean, we got Swift. Now I mean, running hard. Now I'm saying they got um, we got Gainwell. Gainwell a dog. He run hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I mean, he just got that. He got that dog in him. Know what I'm saying? Now I mean, we got two guys that got that dog in them. Know what I'm saying? Then we tie that. That's all I think. We can, I man. He can tire you out. Know what I'm saying? Then Jalen Hurts. He like a running back. Now I mean, he run around. Know what I'm saying? So. You know, I don't want to get too long with it on it, but like I said, we 
we we should win this one. Know what I mean? Like I said, wow. I, ain't, I ain't one of them people that it's a rematch to the Super Bowl. No, a re rematch to the Super Bowl would be us being in the both being in the Super Bowl again. I don't believe that rematch to the Super Bowl stuff. Because we win this one, mm -hmm. we won't win a championship ring? No. I hate when people say that. <laughs> rematch to the Super Bowl. No, a rematch to the Super Bowl would be us both in the Super Bowl again. I hate when people <laughs> say that. It's a rematch to the Super Bowl. No, so we win this joke, we just winning the game. We're not winning the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I hate when people say yeah. that. This is a rematch of the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. It's a game that we should win, but it's not the Super Bowl. They won the Super Bowl, but we win this game. We don't win the Super Bowl. They won the damn Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I hate when people say that. Rematch of the Super Bowl. No, that's all they doing is hyping it up. Rematch of the Super Bowl. Rematch of the Kelsey Bowl. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. We should win this one. Know what I'm saying? Nah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like y'all. I think y'all got a chance. I hate to say it. Mm hmm Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, man. All right. I, mean, I don't want to say too much more about it. I don't want to, I don't want to give y'all too much credit. So, I mean, you said enough. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I just feel like we should, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know what I mean, we can get this win, but I'm not with all that. This is a rematch of the Super Bowl. It's a real Super Bowl. No, this is not the Super Bowl. I want to go to the Super Bowl. Now, me, now, now, if we play in the Super Bowl again, then that will be a rematch of the Super Bowl. I don't believe in that. We got to get this win. No. No, us getting this win is just getting the win. We don't get no Super Bowl ring for the, for this win. You know what I'm saying? I hate that's why I don't like when people say that. You know what I mean? But um Gotcha. Yeah, you know what I mean? Was that the last game? Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. It. yeah, that was the last game, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, um, I mean like we always say, man, these are not our numbers, these are not our lines, you know what I mean? We are not a sports book. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean, um you like said, man, please y'all people y'all betting the people that's out there betting. Bet with your head, not over it. Um, like I said, by the time this comes out, some of these lines may change and all that. Like I said, because these aren't our money lines and none of that. You know what I mean? To begin with. So a lot of these things could change by the time we record and by the time it come out on, like, Saturday. But um, I do want to say, I mean, once again, man, um, thank y'all for the love and support. You know what I mean? Y'all love this show. Um, like y'all to uh, as far as like I said, everything you start with the earning night social show, please like, rate, review, subscribe, all of that. Uh share. Um, you got anything to say to people before we before we get out of here? Nah, just the usual, man. Good luck with everybody bets, man. Hopefully, you know, people making money. Uh, and not, nothing more to say, man. I just hope y'all out there join join the season. Um I hope y'all enjoy the podcast and you know. And let's just keep it going. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We going, um, as things, I mean, go, I mean, progress, you know what I mean? Going to get bigger and better, you know what I'm saying? Um, right. Yeah, and I mean, working on some things, you know what I'm saying? So we can start doing, like, go, like, live and all that, stuff like that, man. I mean, I don't want to say too much, you know what I mean? I don't want to jinx nothing. But, um, like I said, man, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We going, you know I mean? We going to get bigger and better with this show. You know what I mean? We got some things lined up. You know what I mean? We got some things that, you know what I mean, might work out for us to where we can really, like, take this show to the next level. But um, other than that, man, I will say, man, thank you all out there, man. Um, Good luck to y'all. Like I said, I mean, like we say, man, bet with your head, not over it. You know what I mean? And just, uh, I'm just going to say, man, man, see see y'all, you know what I mean, next week. All right, man. Yes, sir. All right, bro, man. Uh, right. You know I mean, be safe, man. Thank you, man. I mean, I appreciate you, man. I like doing this show with you, and I know the people love this show. All right, man. Appreciate you as well, man. Y'all be safe. All right. The world is yours. You got All right. it. You got to get it. No love. 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 No love.